Welcome to Explore Memphis Summer Reading 2020. I'm Jamie Griffin with Memphis Public Library. First, what's new? One, all of our programs will be virtual. Two, we have a great thing, and that is Imagine Your Story. And three, you can actually register online this year. So how do you find out more about that? Just go onto our website, memphispubliclibraries.org or explorememphis.me. So what's in it for me, you say? For children, story times, puppet shows, and all types of fun arts and craft activities. For tweens and teens, we have virtual escape rooms and a lot of more activities. Just follow the Cloud 901 on Instagram for more. And for adults, family activities, as well as concert series and book clubs. Now here's the thing, the more you read, the more you have an opportunity to earn prizes. Before we go any further, we have an important word from Memphis Public Library's director, Keenan McCoy. Keenan? Hi there, I'm Keenan McCoy. I'm the director of the Memphis Public Libraries, and I'm really excited to invite you to imagine your story this summer at Memphis Public Libraries. As a lot of you know, we have 18 locations, but this summer we have some special things that are going to be happening. For example, we're going to have story times Monday through Friday for families of all ages. We're really excited about that. On Friday nights, we're going to have uh, the Porch Series, which is live music at 7.30 p.m. for uh, Memphians, by Memphians. And we're really delighted to have uh, such special artists in our presence, and you'll be able to see those after the, the uh, shows air live. You can always get them at memphislibraries.org. And also, we're going to have a Saturday um, family story time. Um, at 11 a.m. So we have a lot of different programs. This is kind of a special time in history because uh, you do have to imagine your story and um, we're going to be able to do that really well here at Memphis Public Libraries. We are open from Monday through Friday from 10 to 6, uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we would love to have you join us. But most of our program will be, programming will be online um, this summer. Uh, another thing, we're going to have a lot of prizes, a lot of incentives for people to uh, read and to read as much as you possibly can. So bring your families, check out as many books as you possibly can. I think a lot of you know that we don't uh, uh, charge fines any longer. We want to remove all barriers to access so that you can check out the number of books that you want without penalty. We have added 12,000 ebooks or e audiobooks. We also now offer lynda.com. Um, one of the things that's kind of uh, great about where we are in history right now is all you got to do is go to the Memphis Public Libraries website, memphislibraries.org, and you can get your own library card. You can also download books for free. You can check books out. And the card is for two years that you can uh, apply for online. We're trying to make things as simple as we possibly can because we want to eliminate any barriers to access. This moment in history is, is one of those times when you know, you probably need some incentive, so we just want to make sure every incentive you could possibly imagine is there for you to either download it. It's all free. We've checked in with Shelby County Schools and other school systems, charter schools, private schools, um, SCS. We want to make sure that we're in touch with the needs of their student populations, and, and a lot of those are your student populations or your populations. In addition to our sponsors, such as TVA, uh, Dollar General, Memphis Library Foundation, the Friends of the Library. I just want to say thank you. We have had so much support from the city of Memphis um, in this challenging time and, and I just want to say uh, from uh, my heart, thank you to the citizens of Memphis for being here, for continuing to be excited about what's happening here in our four walls and beyond, and uh, thanks to the, to the people who really make the city work. Our librarians and our staff are incredible and uh, they're caring, they're mission-centric, and uh, I'm just really grateful to work alongside them. I just want to let you all know that um, WYPL, the staff here at the library, has been really intentional about capturing and documenting and sharing widely all the current information about the coronavirus pandemic, uh, what's being done, what needs to be done, what the statistics are, whatever it is that you all might need, whatever kind of information, the library is here for you. I also want to remind you that uh, 211 is an incredible resource 
we are getting between two and 400 calls per day with people, um, I mean, from people who have questions about, it could be where to get a uh, test for coronavirus. It could be that you are food insecure. You might need somebody to help you with your rent. You might not have any food. You might not have transportation. Whatever your needs are, whatever health and human services needs, there are so many people who have been impacted uh, during this time, and we stand ready. We have very accurate information that is completely current, and our staff is extremely compassionate and caring and, and uh, mission-centric. We want to make sure that you've got everything we can possibly share with you um, so that uh, you can um, be better off because you made the call to 211. So, you know, whatever we can do to help, we are here for you, and uh, we always have been in our four walls, and we are now virtually in the cloud and over the phone. So please come in, check out books, uh, know that you're welcome, and uh, you're certainly invited to imagine your story here um, at Explore Memphis at Memphis Public Libraries in 2020. All right, hope you're enjoying yourself so far. To help libraries do what they do, we need help. And we often get that from the Memphis Library Foundation. Here to speak more on that is the Executive Director, Christine Weinrich. Hi there, I'm Christine Weinrich and I'm the Executive Director of the Memphis Library Foundation and I want to welcome you to Explore Memphis. As you know, Explore Memphis is our summer program at the library, but you might not know how we make this program work every year. This year is a very different year with everything being virtual, but every year we rely on our sponsors and individual donors to make these programs happen. This year, as in the past several years, TVA has been our presenting sponsor and we want to thank them for making this happen and stepping up their donation this year to make the program even better in its virtual incarnation this year. We also want to thank the Dollar General Literacy Foundation, which gave us a grant to help pay our presenters for all of the online programming. Without them, we couldn't make this happen. The Memphis Library Foundation leverages private donations to make sure that library programs can happen and serve the community. Explore Memphis is the largest single program each year, serving tens of thousands of Memphians across all the branches. This year, being purely virtual doesn't make it any less crucial a program to serve Memphis. We all know about the summer slide. We all know that our kids need to stay engaged throughout the summer so that they don't learn, lose the learning that they had throughout the school year. This year, it's gonna be even more important to keep those kids engaged in learning and fun ways of learning since they've been out of school so much longer. So we're so glad that you're joining us for the kickoff and we hope you'll join us for all the programs from now all the way until August 1st because there are so many programs to choose from for every age group, including you adults, and incentives for reading, great prizes that are again made possible by our generous sponsors. Um, and don't you wanna win a prize while you're having fun, staying engaged and staying active during the summer? Thank you again for joining us for Explore Memphis. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can support the Memphis Libraries through the Memphis Library Foundation, please visit our website at memphislibraryfoundation.org. Thanks. To do what we do, the library needs important partners like the Dixon Art Gallery. And they join us today to help us kick off Explore Memphis. Hi, my name is Kristen Allen and I work for the Dixon Gallery and Gardens. The Dixon loves partnering with the Memphis Public Libraries and we especially love participating in Explore Memphis. We can't wait to offer art and horticulture programming to libraries this summer. But in the meantime, I'd like to show you how to make a shadow puppet theater using everyday supplies. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a medium to large cardboard box, a regular piece of white paper, a piece of dark paper, this can be black or blue, anything that's not see-through. You'll need some tape or glue, a pair of scissors, and if you have a box cutter, that will make this process a lot easier, but you'll definitely need a grown-up to help with this step. You'll also need a stick for the bottom of your puppets. This can be toothpicks or a straw, a bamboo skewer, anything you have lying around that you can tape to your puppets. All right, let's get started. 
We're going to start by making the box for our theater. So you'll need a cardboard box, some scissors, tape, a piece of paper, and a box cutter really helps. Make sure a grown-up helps with this step because we're going to be cutting away sections of our box to display our theater. The first thing you want to do is to tape up any open sides of your box. Grab a grown-up for this next step. It's a little dangerous. Next, we're going to cut a rectangle from the front of our box. You can use scissors if that's all you have, but a box cutter definitely makes things easier. If you have scissors, poke a hole in one corner of your box and then cut a rectangle shape out of the front of the box. Make sure you don't go all the way to the edges because we'll need a space to tape our paper later on. Once you have a square or rectangle shape cut out from the front of your box, we're gonna do the same thing on the back of the box. I'm using a box cutter this time and you can see how much easier it makes cutting the box, but be very careful not to cut yourself. This is tricky for even grown-ups. The shapes don't have to match exactly, they don't have to be perfect. Choose which side you want to be the front of your theater. Then cut a piece of regular paper to fit the front of your box. Use tape or glue to adhere the paper to one side of your box. Next, I'm going to make some scenery for inside my theater. I've got some black construction paper, something to draw with, and some scissors for this step. Think about the setting for your play. I decided I wanted mine to be outside, so I drew a tree and a moon, but you could create anything for your environment. Once you have your shapes drawn, cut them out. Remember, only the edges will show in your theater, so make sure whatever details you draw, you cut out, otherwise you won't see them. Once you have your shapes cut out for your environment, you can either glue them to the inside of your box or roll up a small piece of tape and tape them inside. Next, I'm ready to create my puppets. I'm using the same piece of black construction paper that I had earlier, and I decided that I wanted a fox as a character in my story. You can create anything you want. Once you've sketched out your character, carefully cut it out. Now we're going to create a stick to hold your puppet. Here I'm using a bamboo skewer, but you could use a toothpick or a straw. Tape the stick onto your puppet. Make sure that the tape doesn't stick out too far because you will see the edges whenever the shadow is created. Now I'm ready to put on my puppet show. I want a bright light to shine through the box and showcase the shadows that I created. So I'm using a flashlight set up on a bowl. But you could use a lamp or any other bright light that you have and just position it behind your box. Turn the lights off and put on your puppet show. If you want to hide the shadows of your hands, you can do that by making a few small adjustments to the project. Prepare your theater the same way that we did earlier in the video. Then, simply cut a small slit from the top of the box. When preparing your puppets, tape the stick to the top of the puppet instead of to the bottom. This will allow you to hold onto the stick and slide your puppet inside the box through the slit at the top, hiding the shadows of your hand and body. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to support the Memphis Public Libraries by engaging with their online content. Like, comment, and share all their activities through social media and their website. If you enjoyed this activity, you can find lots more art and horticulture activities at the Dixon's website at www.dixon.org slash Dixon at Home. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you soon and have fun exploring Memphis. Okay, so we have plenty of activities here, and here's one of them for the children. It's called Meet the Shapes.
Hey. What's that? We should get to know the shapes. Oh, that's a great idea. But how do we get to know the shapes? Hmm. Well, I can think of a couple of ways. Let's get to know the shapes. By singing with shapes. I didn't know shapes could sing. The shapes come in all kinds of shapes. Let's get to know the shapes. Let's get to know the shapes. Like dancing the shapes. Well, I am a great dancer. The shapes come in all kinds of shapes. Let's get to know the shapes. Square and rectangle. Let's get to know the shapes. 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 To be or not to be? That is the question. The answer, Theater of Memphis. And they're up next. Tomorrow? No, I haven't even started! Well, I mean, I tried to start. A couple of times, actually. But it was just weird. I mean, a girl falls down a rabbit hole? That's not even possible. Is it possible? No, definitely not possible. And then she's falling, and that gives me major anxiety, and then she starts eating and drinking things, and she starts growing and shrinking, and it's just too much! I don't like it, and I don't want to read it. But I have to. Uh, I wish there was some way to read the story without reading the story. Is that cheating? I think it's cheating. Oh, I wish there was someone who could help me. We can, we can help, help you. you. Whoa, who said that? We did. Who are you? Where are you? We are the cast of Alice, Alice, Alice. The what? The, the cast, cast of Alice, 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 Alice. Alice. Yeah, I heard that, but what does that mean? We were in a production of Alice in Wonderland. Well, sort of. Hush, yes we were. It was just a short version. A modern version. And we went around performing it for people. Until the coronavirus appeared. And ruined everything. It didn't ruin everything. Well, we can't perform anymore. He is right. <laughs> yeah, I guess it did ruin that. True, but I see an opportunity to perform it right now. Don't you? Really? really? Wait. Are you going to perform it for me? So I don't have to read it? Sure, why not? You don't want to read it, and we do want to perform it. Oh my gosh, this is the best. You guys are lifesavers. This is so exciting. I missed you guys so much. I know. You remember that time we performed and a lizard came on stage? Hold up. How long is this going to take? Because my paper is due tomorrow, and it's only one page long. So I don't have time for, like, the whole story. Can you just kind of like, you know, hit the highlights? Wow, someone's lazy. I'm sleepy. Fine, we'll just hit the highlights. Just like, make sure you get all the characters in, all the big moments. Right, the highlights, we got it. Wait, are we not gonna talk about the fact that you all just appeared in my mind? Like, how is that even possible? Look, do you want our help or not? Yes. Then don't ask questions. Okay, but- Shh, fine. I will just accept that a troop of actors appeared in my mind to tell me this story so I wouldn't have to read it for my book report. Should we really be condoning this? Yeah, should we be encouraging her to read the book and to do her own work? Hush, do you want to perform or not? Why don't we meet you halfway? 
Here, take a copy of our script, you flip through it, and read along while we act it for you. Done. Wait, we don't have to do the whole thing, right? Just trust us. We'll tell you what you need to know. Go ahead. Start reading. Okay. First page, blah, 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 this doesn't look important, blah, 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 rabbit hole. That's a good place to start. Who's Alice? Right here. Cool, okay. Alice found herself following an awfully flustered white rabbit down a rabbit hole. Oh my ears and whiskers, I'm late. I'm falling! Alice fell and fell and fell and fell and fell. Okay, we get it, she's falling. When did she land? Ah, here we go. Someone or something broke her fall, and she said, Where am I? Where are you? Whoa, too creepy. Skip forward. No! Okay, fine. Sorry. Where are we? Wonderland. Right. Duh, because it's Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. Okay, fine. I get it. When do we meet some more characters? Ah, here we go. The Tweedles. Alice found Tweedledum and Tweedledee standing under a tree. Alice asked them, Excuse me, what is the best way out of this rabbit hole? And they replied, I know what you're thinking about, but it isn't so, no how. Contrary-wise, if it was so, it might be, and if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. <laughs> That's logic. Okay, no it's not. Let's move along. No! We haven't even sung our song yet. There's a song. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. This is the way we do the floss, do the floss, do Okay, there is no way that is actually in the story. Moving on. Get me away from these weird little Tweedle people. Ah, the Queen of Hearts. That sounds like fun. Off with her head. Nope, not that fun. Turn the page. Off with her head. But I need to know what happens. Well, you didn't care that much about the Tweedles. Okay, fine. But can you at least just tell me what happens? The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. A thief did come to steal those tarts and took them quite away. Oh, so she thinks you stole them. Exactly. Off with her head. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Next. Thank you. Boo, that's my favorite part. No time for favorite parts. I just need, well, the next part. And that part is... Advice from a caterpillar. Wait, a caterpillar? A caterpillar. A caterpillar. Why do I get the feeling this is gonna take forever? In this story, Alice was very small. While the caterpillar was very large. Wait, how did she get so small? How did he get so big? There's so many unanswered questions. Who are you? Well, I hardly know myself at present, because I'm much smaller than my usual self, you see? Who are you? I'm afraid I can't put it more clearly. Who are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? Hold on, I feel like we're talking in circles here. Does this go on for much longer? Unfortunately, yes. Well, then I think I'm just gonna... No one's objecting. You're taking a nap? There's no time for naps. Don't worry, it's a power nap. That can't be in the story. But it is in our script, and it will be over in three, two... <laughs> huh? Why, thank you all so much for joining us. May we proceed? Absolutely. All rested up now. Good thing, because the next part is the most energetic of all. Here it comes. Should I be scared? Is it time? I think it is. It definitely is. Tea, tea time! time! I love tea. Wait, tea time? No, we don't have time to keep taking breaks. We have to get back to the story. It is part of the story. How rude. It really is. Uh, just let them keep going. They'll be quick. Fine. There was a table set for tea, and at it sat a mad hatter. The March Hare. And a dormouse fast asleep. Alice approached the table. They all yelled, No, no room! room! The Hatter kept yelling, Change places! And they all kept saying really rude things to me, like, Would you like some tea? Well, there isn't any. <laughs> and then the March Hare and the Hatter got into an argument. About what? It was the 
best butter! Well, that's lame. And the Dormouse just sleeps through it all. And what's the point? Does Alice ever figure out why she's at a rude tea party? I think the main conclusion is we're all mad We're here. all mad here. We're all mad here. Cool. Moving on. Are you sure you want to move on? Yeah. All that's left is the scariest part of all. Really? This story gets scary? Well, cool. Yeah, bring it on. What's next? Okay, but it's like really, really scary. Just warning you. Hey, I am ready for some excitement. Bring it. You sure? I hope you like monsters, cause... Monsters? Heck yeah, what kind of monster? A Jabberwock! Cool, what's a Jabberwock do? You don't want to know. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the frumious fender snatch. All right, let's see him bite. Let's see those claws. Believe me, you don't want to. And as in uffish thought, he stood the Jabberwock with eyes aflame. It came whistling through the tall G wood and burbled as it came. Okay, I'm still not getting a scary vibe here. Is this like a poetry monster? It's just a major turning point in the story, okay? How so? The Jabberwock comes at me all scary like, and, and I defeated him. He needs darkness to survive, and my brave and radiant light shone from within, and the Jabberwock disappeared into the dust and darkness. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Wait, so you're like a hero. You could say that. <laughs> so wait, is that it? Is that really how the story ends? Kinda. It's how our version ends. There's more than one version? There are many versions, and many more characters and stories in Alice's adventures. Well, tell me more. I, I want all of them. But you just wanted the highlights, remember? But we were just getting started. Can't we do just a couple more? You better work on your book report, remember? So I think our work here is done. But you can always go back and read the book. Read the book? Yes, I go through a lot of adventures in that book that you didn't really want to read. Oh, but now I do! I, I want to know all of the adventures. Do you think I have time? Maybe if you pull an all-nighter. In my opinion, it's always best to read the book. Yeah, instead of cheating. Hey, you offered. I didn't force you. You all just appeared. Still have questions about that, by the way. Well, look at the time! We'll leave you to it. Looks like you've got lots of reading and writing to do. So are you guys, like, available for other stories sometimes? Listen, we do one play a year, and you just get lucky this time around. Right. We're glad we could help. But like I said, just read the book next time. You never know what kind of adventures you'll miss if you don't. Wow. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. You know, I was just going to use the highlights for my paper, but what the heck. I think I'm going to dive into the whole book. Chapter 1. You really think she'll make it through the whole book in time to write her report? That's the power of a good book. Once you're hooked, you can't stop. And we definitely hooked her by the end. Aw, you guys. This is the last time we get to tell this story together. Well, at least we got to tell it one last time and inspire someone to learn more about the story and read the book. Very true. Now, uh, how do we get out of here? What do you mean? She didn't really know how we appeared and, well, neither do I. Yeah, how do we get out of here? Are we trapped here forever? I know! The rabbit hole! I'll race you. No, I'll race you. I'm going first! No, me! Hope you've had fun. But just remember, this is just the beginning of Explore Memphis. It lasts for two months. To keep up with it and to log on and register, 
Remember to go to memphislibrary.org or explorememphis.me.